and 15. Uh, here we go again. The trend is not a good one. No, you know, uh, as expected, April 2016, warmest month on record, as we said, to, you know, over a dozen months we've set this mm -hmm. in a row, and now we are on pace to make this the hottest year on record. El Nino's so. had a, a lot of... Tense, yeah. absolutely. So uh, you know these uh, these are these are aren't without repercussions, right. as you mentioned. Sure. All right. Uh, speaking of other uh, parts of the world, I yeah. uh, yeah. see that we're now seeing other parts of the world become out of balance. Right. You know, we're seeing result of extremes in climate. Right. So mm -hmm. droughts. I thought you said though, then everybody's going to bet on the mutters. No. Then, well, you know, Mike said that the mutters wouldn't be someone you want to bet on now because they would have the lower odds. odds. Gotcha. The odds are going to get. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> I got telling your facts. I'm done. Yeah. Okay, so oh, we'll have the forecast for you here <laughs> coming up. We will tell you why. Yeah. So the next one is from a late night DJ yeah. role. <laughs> it is um, true. She's Hello there, a little folks. smoky, <laughs> sultry. Good evening, St. Louis. <laughs> Uh, it's in St. Louis, obviously. <laughs> yeah, obviously, yeah. because That's they got I a think. big, big market for yeah. rasp raspy <laughs> boys, like ladies. Sultry. Yeah, sultry. Sultry, sultry not raspy. Brought to you by pollen. <laughs> 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 All right. The next question is from Justin. Just if you got uh, you know a cold front that's going to sweep through uh, northwest, we've well, got a front that moves in uh, northeast to southwest. All right. Yeah. Fantastic. Is that good enough? And then you can also get into the Good real technical me. stuff, like right when you're going through the levels and you've got the backing flow or the veering flow, but that's getting real. That's getting real, real technical, technical, and you might want to look that up because we don't have enough time here to explain that adequately. That's a whole week. That's coming up that's in Alex's... In uh, Alex's storm chasing tips. Alex's... What are, <laughs> late nights in what do we St. Call Louis. It? Her, her late <laughs> night <laughs> weather... Weather her, lecture. Yes, her, her Alex after dark. <laughs> All right. So the next one is Look from. Uh, going to be coming on a little bit later to talk about the transition of El Nino and La Nina right. a little bit too. Now that's a tease. Right. All right. The next one is from Trap One. You know, we're that looking over help. there at the Bay of Bengal and the Indian Ocean, and we're talking about you know this, the uh, storm system that that warm ocean surface is what helps to fuel basically that heat engine that is the hurricane. You're looking to produce an area of low wind shear, so you right. can build. In the summertime, you're going to get a tropical system. Yeah. If you've got strong winds aloft, you're not able to yeah, just get that. Nice, cuts yeah. off the top of the storm and so it doesn't begin to build on itself so thank you everyone yeah. for your questions uh, hashtag us WUTV on Twitter and we will answer your questions throughout the evening tonight let's talk a little sports how do I look here oh, you want to thank line? you yes mm -hmm. UV index in here is pretty high yeah so you got to protect your eyes joining us right now <laughs> to talk a little bit more about this is Dr. Dora Adamopoulos um, uh, medical advisor for the Vision Council Dr. Adamopoulos thanks for being with us you know we, we're now I know if I've done the same to my eyes you got disproportionate number only problem spot I know a lot of that light reflects off the water but I mean walking around the city being out in your own backyard these are places we need to wear sunglasses as well Subject moms, uh, dads watching, especially. Sure. I think both of us learned something today. Sure. I mean, I wouldn't have known about how to sunburn of my eyes. And Bettis just wanted to look cool. I feel like. Is Dr. Dora Adamopoulos, thank you so much for being with us this evening. Don't forget your sunglasses this summer. Awesome Thanks. stuff. I, again, you know, you learn something every day. You know, you always think, I know I need to put on sun uh, tan lotion, but sunglasses weren't something that I knew that I needed to reach for. I like to reach for it because I just want to look cool. Visioncouncil.org <laughs> is where you can go for more information. Well, this evening, Carl, Alex, Ryan, all here. So the first question we have yeah. is from Austin. A lot of weaker tornadoes. You get a lot of tornadoes, but they're usually not the, generally speaking. Good question tonight. Excellent. Fantastic. The next one is from Icer, Ohio, Ohio yeah. right here. They've actually had several, uh, but it was it was up there. Yeah. yeah. All right, the next one's from Brad. This Good, question yeah. comes to us from Tanner. T I feel like this might be a trick question, though. But you're saying if you're like just if you're, looking out the flying, window, I, well, you could use your, use your altimeter. altimeter and you could just <laughs> guess. You could tell. Like, yeah. I'm at 5,000 feet. Yeah. And this uh, is that's high. Or yeah. whatever, so Maybe. I mean, you could... I don't know if you, if you know, like, and, and to me, it's like looking at, you'd know yeah. what altitude right. is. Yeah, right, yeah. you'd have a good idea. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, everyone, Carl's for your like, questions. Carl's like, I was trying to be helpful. This was <laughs> and, 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 and exact. We're trying to be yeah. practical. Um, <laughs> thank you for your questions tonight. Uh, we know we got some more uh, weather to talk about this evening.